To our missed fifth grade students, I know how much we have missed all of you, and I am sure you are hoping that the end of your Heritage Hill time was not going to be like this. Although I want you to remember this time and know how proud your teachers, parents, Officer Beckman, and myself are for your accomplishments while at Heritage Hill. You have a big year ahead, and you have been well prepared and are ready for a new beginning at the middle school. As you reflect on your journey at Heritage Hill in your fifth grade year, remember the friends you have made, the memories that you will carry with you always, and the teachers and parents that have helped you lead your path. I know you will do great things, and we look forward to knowing your success at the middle, high school, school, and beyond. And fifth graders, we wish you the best and know we will see you soon. Good luck. It's not goodbye, it's see you later. To all of our fifth graders at Heritage Hill, I wish you the best of luck next year at the middle school. I know this year has had a crazy ending, but you all have stepped up to the challenge, just as I know you will the rest of your lives. You're a Princeton Viking through and through. May you remember to be strong, be leaders, and be courageous. Thank you for working so hard and for making this year memorable. Please come back to your home school because we, your teachers, love you and miss you. See you soon. Hey, fifth grade. Um, I know this isn't the way that we planned on saying goodbye and sending it off to middle school, uh, but we just got to deal with uh, things as they are. I uh, just want all of you guys to know that we're super, super proud of all the hard work that you guys put in this year. We know that you've done everything that you needed to and are going to do awesome at the middle school next year. We miss you and hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, fifth graders. I just wanted to wish you the best of luck at the middle school next year. I know that you guys will do great over there. Until then, stay safe and healthy. Bye-bye. Congratulations, fifth grade class of 2027. I'm proud of you and I miss you. I miss the things we would have done if we spent our last fourth quarter together, like making class t-shirts for class of 2027. But here we are at Princeton Middle School and through these doors pass the best and the brightest. And that includes you. So remember, what lies behind you what lies ahead of you is not as important as what lies within you. So make the most of every day. And remember, you're the one that writes your own story. So make it a good one. And go fight. Hello, fifth graders. Happy graduation from D.A.R.E. and from the fifth grade. I'm so happy that you're moving on to the middle school and you have so many great things ahead of you. I wanna read from you an expert from All the Places You'll Go Today by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to good places, you're off and away. You'll have brains in your head and you'll have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you didn't know what you know and you are the guy who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down in not any not so good streets. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to bring people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be up, you'll be on your way up. You'll see great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. And you will exceed, yes, you will indeed, 98.5% guarantee. Kids, you'll move mountains. Congratulations and best wishes to you all. Congratulations, fifth grade! You finally made it! You're on your way to sixth grade. 
and a big adventure awaits for you next year. We're so excited for you. You've worked really hard this year to get to this huge milestone, but we want to let you know, I'm going to miss you and all of Heritage Hill is really going to miss you. We hope you guys come back and visit us, okay? But in the meantime, have a really good time in sixth grade and we'll be thinking about you. Felicidades. I want to wish best of luck to all the fifth graders. We will miss you at Heritage Hill. Make sure you come back and see us. Hey fifth graders, just want to say good luck to you next year at the middle school. And we are really, really, really going to miss you. I hope you have a great rest of the school year and a great summer. And hopefully I see you guys again when you're big middle schoolers. Congratulations, fifth graders of Heritage Hill on moving on up to the middle school. I hope you know we're proud of you and we will always remember you. Good luck. Hola, felicidades en graduar del Heritage Hill y mucha suerte a todos ustedes en tu futuro. Les vamos a extrañar mucho. Adios. Hi, fifth grade, it's Mrs. Sonic. I just wanted to say congratulations on completing your elementary years. You are off to the middle school. You will do fabulous. You will be wonderful. We are so proud of you, even though this year ended so crazy. But no, we love you. And we cannot wait for you to come visit us because that's the best thing at all is, of all is seeing you guys grow up. So keep working hard, keep doing your best, but never forget us at Heritage Hill because we will never forget you. Bye. Hey, fifth grade, um, congratulations. I hope you guys have a lovely um, year next year. We will really miss giving you a big hug and saying goodbye, but keep in touch with us. Make sure you invite us to your next graduation because we will definitely be there. And we all know you'll be there because you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, and you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy who will decide where to go. So don't worry, guys. We know that you'll move mountains, and we are so proud of you and all the places you will go. Um, take care. Keep in touch. And thank you for everything. And we miss you. And... Just have a have a great summer and get in touch with us next year. Bye. Here's to the fifth grade at Heritage Hill. I've been with most of you since second grade. And I would just like to say best wishes in your journey to middle school. I'm sorry that your year had to end off in such a crazy way with the 2020 Corona virus, but you are champions in my heart, and it is a new day. Next year, you will be in the middle school, and you'll start your next venture into the teen years. And I just wanna wish you and celebrate you. And remember, we're always here for you at Heritage Hill. And please come back and see me. It is a walk ahead, but I know you will truly be champs at whatever you try to do. Keep focused on your work. And remember, we love you here to chill. Bye now. Good luck in 2021. Hey, fifth graders. I wish we were there in person to celebrate your graduation. But since we're not, we're going to make the best of it. I remember when you guys were these little tiny kindergartners and first graders and you guys came to school crying every day. And you guys have turned into such incredible, talented young adults. I can't wait to see what you guys are going to accomplish at the middle school and in the high school. And I wish you guys all the best. And I hope you guys come back and visit us. Bye. Hey, fifth graders, it's Miss Ard. And I just wanted to wish you all the best as you transition over to Princeton Community Middle School. You guys are an awesome group of kids and I know you're gonna accomplish great things. I want you to work hard, stay true to yourself, believe in yourself, do all the things that you know are right and good. 
um, and stay in music, sing, play an instrument, invite me to your concerts. I'd love to come hear you guys. I will miss you and I'm sad that our year ended the way that it did. But I know that this is gonna help shape you to make you a great person in the future. So keep working hard, keep singing, keep playing music, keep appreciating and enjoying music and come back and visit. Bye. Hey fifth graders, congratulations. Your elementary years are over. Oh, when you first started kindergarten, it was also my first year at Heritage Hill. So some of you I have been with since you were in kindergarten, since I move around from class to class every year. I've been with some of you the whole way through. Good luck at the middle school. I know this isn't the way we wanted it to end. I love you all and I will miss you all. Hello fifth graders, very soon to be sixth graders at Princeton Community Middle School. I'm so proud of you and all your hard work how you've adjusted and continued learning during this crazy time where you've had to do remote learning. Good luck to you. Come back and visit us often. And I just want to say one of my favorite quotes to you by Walt Disney. If you can dream it, you can do it. Good luck. Come back and visit. Bye. Good afternoon to the fifth grade students of Heritage Hill Elementary School. This is Missy Lane speaking to you from the heart today. I am so, so very proud of each and every one of you. You have worked hard for six years because I'm including kindergarten where you got your start. Some of you might have started with me in kindergarten or at Heritage Hill and some maybe at another school, but you are little vikes and I am so proud of you. I wish I were there right now to give you a hug and a squeeze and just tell you how much I love you, but I want to let you know that I love you very much and I'm so proud of you and you are always in my thoughts and prayers. And as you go to the middle school next year, I know you will do well. You are intelligent, beautiful, special young people, and I am so proud of you. Soy muy orgulloso. As mis estudiantes, soy maestra siempre. I will always be one of your teachers, and I love you, fifth grade. You go, little vikes, and I hope to see you soon. All right, have a great summer. Bye-bye. Hi, Heritage Hill. My name is Mrs. Kennel. I know that I don't know all of you, but some of you I have known since preschool and kindergarten. I cannot believe that you are headed off to the middle school. I am so proud of all the work that you have done and I will miss you. And hopefully I'll get to peek over at the middle school and say hi. Have a great summer guys. Hey everybody, Mrs. Beal here. Want to say congratulations to everybody on their graduation. Um, well done. Uh, it's a great accomplishment. Um, now you will be off to Princeton Community Middle School. It will be fabulous. It will be great. You will meet lots of new friends. Involve yourself in lots of activities. Uh, enjoy your new teachers. They will enjoy you also. And thank you for being an inspiration and allowing me to teach all of you guys and to help me grow as a teacher. And I will miss all of you. Like I said, you will have so much fun. Um, and I hear you don't have to walk in line. You can walk next to your friend from class to class. How exciting. But again, job well done. Uh, so proud of all of you. Great accomplishment. And I know we didn't get to uh, end the year like we had expected. Um, I know we missed some of our fun activities and events in gym, PE, uh, but it's all good. You have still accomplished a lot and I'm, I'm so proud of all of you. Stay safe, be healthy, and go Vikes. 
To the fifth grade students at Heritage Hill Elementary, I'm going to miss so many different things about you this year, including our discussions, your questions, our hugs, and of course your smiles. This year is a lot different than most fifth grade years. You have encountered a lot of difficult situations, but I'm so proud of each and every one of you for persevering through each of those difficult times. When you reach the middle school, you may encounter situations that are also unknown to you. Just remember to persevere and that we're here if you need us at all. So please remember to reach out to me anytime you need me. Hey guys, you finally made it to the end of fifth grade and we finally made it to the end of this crazy school year. I know that I am going to miss you guys so very, very much. Um, it makes me very sad that I, I haven't been able to spend this last little bit of the year with you guys. Um, so I wish you guys all of the best and please make sure that you take care of yourselves and each other. Uh, middle school is probably going to be rough. Like I always said, it's, it's tough on everybody. So please, please, please be kind to yourself. Please be kind to everybody else. Um, I don't know what the next school year is going to look like, um, but everyone probably could use a little bit more kindness. So, you know, be good, work hard. Um, we'll, we'll all get through the craziness together. And just know that if you ever need me, you know where to find me. You will always, always be my kids. I love you guys so very much. And I hope to see you guys again soon. I love you guys. Bye. Hi, fifth graders, almost sixth graders now. I'm really sorry that you're not getting a real graduation. And because I was normally go to those, um, their graduation and hear your, um, their speech and see everybody. I miss seeing you guys, but, um, I want to congratulate you for doing such a great job. And now you're moving on to middle school and, um, you're going to meet so many new friends there. All those elementary school kids are coming together to one building. Um, you're going to meet so many new teachers. There's going to be so many new opportunities for you. You're going to have um, clubs and music and sports that you could join. So good luck in middle school. I miss seeing you guys. Stay healthy and see you very soon. Good luck in the future. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I'm just, uh, admiring my terrible, terrible facial hair. What's that? Oh, you came here for a graduation send-off speech? I know. Because of Corona. At home. Is where I teach. And even though... We are remotely departed. I hope you all sit down and buckle up, kids. Because Kemp House is just getting started. But, where to start my farewell oration? Oh, I know. How about the future foundation? The present is crazy, but your future is bright. Any future you can dream is right there in sight. Like the world's greatest Fortnite player had the world has ever seen. Or a world famous chef who wins awards for their tasty cuisine. Or you could be a comedian who spreads lots of laughs. Or you could work at the zoo and feed the giraffes. You could be a lawyer, a doctor, whatever you please. Or you could be somebody who invents the world's stinkiest cheese. How about, oh, a plumber, president, maybe a writer, maybe a world champion pro wrestler known as Ivan the Biter. Maybe? Ooh, you know what? I got a hunch. You could be an Avenger. 
with plenty of villains and bad guys to punch. Definitely broke something. Something more dangerous. Like a wild tiger trainer. Just watch out for the mean ones. Now that's a no-brainer. Work construction. Build a school. Roads. Maybe a bridge. Do something crazy. Like go around Ireland with a fridge. No, no. That wasn't a joke. Somebody actually did that. Look, here's the book to prove it's a fact. You could invent something that's never been made or go be an adventurer. Search for a magic, magic necklace made of jade. You could be a singer, a dancer, show off your skill or even a teacher, right back here at Heritage Hill. Just know that no matter what you choose to do, each and every one of us is very proud of each and every one of you. <clears throat> hey guys, I know I'm not much of a poet. I'm terrible. It's a fact. I know it. But thank you, honestly, for putting up with my silliness for a few years and a few minutes in this poem, I guess. I just wanted to send you off well and let you know I'm very, very proud of you, of each and every one of you. Honestly, I am. My first year at the Herod at Heritage Hill was your, um, was your third grade year. I taught many of you with Miss Marsh in SFA, pull-out groups, and I've got to know many of you in other ways. And just, I'm so proud to see the people you've become and the people you will become. I'd like to leave you with a bit of advice from one of my favorite shows. Believe in yourselves and each other. Dream. Do good. Go out in the world and please do some good. This world is kind of crazy, especially now. And it can use a lot of bright and smart people just like you. I'm a little sad, though, that we're not going to get to play the teachers versus students kickball game. I have been working on my excellent, excellent kickball skills. And let me tell you something. Nothing but homers this year. Guaranteed. I was going to hit nothing but homers, but oh well, that's the way it turned out. I'm so sorry. You don't get to see me win. All jokes aside, I'm very proud of you. Good luck in high school, good luck in middle school, and whatever you do, but you better come back and see us. Good luck, everybody. Farewell. Hello there, fifth grade students from Heritage Hill. This is Mrs. McKiff, and I'm here to wish you the best graduation. I so wish we could have gotten together and celebrate this time as you move from fifth grade on to sixth grade. But unfortunately, because of the virus that's going around, that's not possible. I really wanted to give each one of you a special survival kit. So I decided I am going to show you how to build your very own survival kit. All you need to do is get some kind of container. And I'm going to tell you what to put inside. This will be a survival kit that you can carry with you or have around to remind you as you move forward in your life. So the first thing you need to do is to get a toothpick. And you're gonna put a toothpick inside your survival kit because this toothpick is to remind you to pick out the good qualities in others. 
Then get a rubber band. Put a rubber band inside the kit because the rubber band is going to remind you to be flexible. Um, things will not always go your way in life. It might not always go the way you want it to go, but they will work out, so be flexible. Another item you need to add into your survival kit is a Band-Aid. Take the Band-Aid, put it inside the kit, because this Band-Aid is gonna remind you that you need to hurt, or you need to heal your own hurt feelings or the hurt feelings of others. That Band-Aid is to remind you to help heal. Grab a pencil. Put a pencil inside that container. Because this pencil, this pencil will remind you to list your blessings every day. Make a list of things you are thankful for. An important item that you have to have inside the survival kit is an eraser. Put the eraser in there because that eraser is gonna remind you that everyone makes mistakes and it's okay. It's okay to make a mistake. As long as we learn from those, it becomes a learning experience. Another item that's important to have inside the survival kit is a piece of gum. Put your gum inside that survival kit because that chewing gum is going to remind you to stick with it. You can accomplish anything you put your mind to. You have to have a mint. You have to put a mint inside your survival kit because this mint is going to remind you that you are worth a mint to your family and to your friends. And then you need either a candy kiss or a candy hug. Okay? Put that Hershey's kiss or a Hershey's hug in there because that piece of candy will remind you that everyone needs a kiss or a hug every day. And the last item you need to put inside your survival kit is a tea bag. A tea bag will remind you to relax every day and to go over your blessings. Keep the survival kit with you. Put it someplace special. Because to the world, you may just be somebody, but to somebody, you are the world. And to all the staff and to all of you fifth graders that are leaving here to tell, I want you to know that you have met the world to the staff members here at Here to Tell. Remember that you are on the next journey of your education and I wish you all the best on whatever path that you take on your life journey please come back and visit us because everyone here at Harry Hill is honored to be part of your learning journey best of luck and hope to see you in the future bye fifth graders Hi, Heritage Hill 5th grader. Great to have an opportunity to speak with you. What a crazy school year. I'm glad we had the time we did together. And by having that time together, I know you guys are going to do great transitioning into the middle school and your orientations and teachers. Please ask questions because I'm sure other people will have the same questions. During our break, I've had to go to third shift, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And right now, I work for two weeks. I'm home for two weeks. That's why I'm at my house. In June, I'll be back to first ship. I look forward to seeing you guys in the neighborhood. So I'll wait if you have a chance to chat. We'll chat. A little secret, you guys would have won the fifth grade kickball game, no doubt. Don't tell the teachers. 
Have a safe, great summer. Hello, fifth graders. We have a short poem to end our celebration with you today as you get ready to move off to the middle school. Dear fifth grader, keep your feet on the floor, but let your love for learning soar. Keep your nose clean, but soil your hands with hard work. Keep your good common sense, but don't forget to use it. <clears throat> keep doing your work, but remember the difference between done and well done. Keep yourself in your own space, but let your thoughts mingle with those of others. Keep your area clean, but clutter your mind with knowledge. Keep your sense of humor, but share it when it will make someone else feel better. Keep turning in your library books on time, but never stop checking them out. Keep quiet in the halls, but speak loudly and proudly when presenting your ideas. Keep striving for answers, but never stop asking questions. Love your fifth grade teachers, Ms. Bach, Ms. Borchers, Ms. Din, Ms. Murray, Mr. Murray, and the rest of the staff at Heritage Hill Elementary. Go Vikes!